Hello class, this is section 3.6 and we are going to discuss transient and steady periodic solutions. So we have here uh, our regular function with a mass uh, friction coefficient and the spring coefficient and we have uh, our external force applied on this mass spring system. And we want to analyze the typical solutions that we get. If our system is overdamped, then we have a solution of this form C1e minus R1t, C2e minus R2t plus A cosine omega t plus B sine omega t. The thing to notice here is that as t goes to infinity, this guy becomes zero and this guy becomes zero and we're left with just the cosine and sine part. And for that reason, this is going to be called the steady periodic solution, XSP, steady periodic, and this is going to be called XTR, or the transient solution. As time goes on, the transient solution will die off while the steady periodic solution remains. Similarly, in the underdump case, we have a solution of this type, e minus at, c1 cosine bt plus c2 sine bt plus the a cosine omega t and b sine omega t. And again, the homogeneous solution will be transient. As t goes to infinity, this e minus at term goes to zero and just, that just eliminates this entire portion. And we're left with this steady periodic solution that consists of cosine and sine. So in terms of graphs, what will happen is that initially we have uh, some really unpredictable behavior, but then eventually the, the function y will become just a periodic function. And a lot of problems in this section will ask you to identify the transient and steady periodic solutions. And this is just what they are. So just observe that the transient solutions come from the homogeneous equation. In other words, all both of these both of these equations come from mx double prime plus cx prime plus kx equals zero. So these are the transient solutions. 